who what is up everybody welcome once again to my youtube channel and today let's continue with some f1 2017 in the channel of course we are still in the f1 2018 season mode we are still with the aston martin red bull racing team and here we are today at the last race of the season we are at the yas marina circuit home of the abu dhabi grand prix what is up aaron helen welcome to the live stream how are you doing and first of all we are going to dive into the laptop and as you guys can see we have mixed conditions on track which would be the first time i would ever see a drop of rain at abu dhabi but well that's how the game works right <laughs> hey greg hey João Brito, how are you guys doing welcome to the live stream as you guys can see in the middle of your monitors we are losing our rivalry against our rival sebastian vettel and we are currently exceeding the expectations of the team despite being the first driver for red bull racing moving to the research and development tab we didn't bring any sort of upgrade for today's grand prix but both mercedes and ferrari uh, have brought upgrades of their own alongside for cindia and mclaren with an upgrade for the second uh, straight race weekend moving to the vehicle management we are going to come back to this and we are going to go to uh, the fifth there i'm going to take the fifth there i'm going to take uh, yeah whatever i'm going to take uh, the fourth that one that one and that one i mean i can actually take that one it's okay in terms of the gearbox brand new gearbox 20 percent it's fine moving to the standings though we are currently leading the championship after uh, the DNF of Kimi Raikkonen midway through the Brazilian Grand Prix last time around. So they, he has a 14 points deficit with Sebastian Vettel still in contention, 50 points behind myself. In terms of the constructor standings, it's already mathematically done. Ferrari are the world constructors champions with a 146 points lead over second place mercedes and the 192 points lead against third place ourselves red bull racing moving to uh, the uh, trophy room you guys can see we haven't finished fifth place since uh, monza and with a couple uh, podiums there one win at singapore let's hopefully do uh, uh let's hopefully win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix to lock it up on a high note and hopefully taking the World Championship as well. Hey Fiotech, welcome to the live stream, man. How are you doing? And yeah, without further ado, let's go for it then. Let's kick off the last Grand Prix weekend of the season. Let's kick it off with the first practice session for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. See you guys in a few seconds. Welcome to Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates where the temperatures and humidity are high and conditions will be tough for the drivers. I'm here with Anthony Davidson once again. Nice to see you, Ant. And I wanted to ask you about how you go about improving the car over the course of a practice session. How much would you say is already known from the pre-race simulations? And how much do you have to do, you know, how much do you have to work on with a real car on a real circuit? Well, that's a good question, Crofty, and I suppose the simple answer is that there's no such thing as too much information. As you say, the bigger teams have very complex simulations, vast numbers of clever people crunching the numbers back at base. But what they can't tell you is stuff like how the track condition's going to be, or what the temperature's going to be doing over the course of the day, and how all of that's going to be interacting with the tyre. There are so many millions of tiny variables involved in getting these cars around a racetrack quickly, but the computer can't tailor the car to a driver's specific balance requirements. At some point, you still need to put a human being in there and have them feel it through the seat of their pants. And that's why we end up with different drivers having different setups. So what I'm trying to say is, Crofty, nothing beats on-track testing. There we have ourselves getting a bit of a pep talk there from Horner. He knows in how long he hasn't won a championship and he knows how crucial it is that we must do a good performance today hey timmy what's up man how are you doing welcome uh, to the live stream let's get a setup going by the way let me 
pick up my water bottle because it fell down for some reason. Uh, let's get a setup loaded. We haven't done a race simulation on any tire yet. We have multiple sessions available, so it isn't urgent right now. But we should make time for a tire wear program at some point. Okay, don't worry, Jeff. Don't worry, Jeff. Okay, Abu Dhabi setup. Where is it? There it is. Two seven front wing or front and rear wing. Here we are, Greg. Do or die. That's exactly that. Let's uh, yeah, do that. Do that. Let's see how the car behaves. With this, let's do. Okay, we'll alter the setup of the car. Let's do the track acclimatization program. Let's see how the car behaves. Okay. Bloody hell. Can we still get purple? Hopefully. Hey Alex, what's up man? How are you doing? Yeah, we got it. Let's return to the garage. Get a bit of water. Oh. Let's go to the tire management program up next. Let's see how the car, how smooth we can be on the rubber. I knew something was wrong. My chair lowered slightly. I knew there was something wrong with my driving position. Oh, is anybody else's livestream lagging? That's weird. Okay, I'll... I'll let me just do the airpin and I'll check on that. Okay. So. Huh. That's that's weird because OBS tells me everything is fine. Like in terms of my internet connection, e everything is fine. I don't know why. I don't know why uh, 
it's lagging for you guys is it better now or what hey joaquin peterson what's up have i won the championship yet no i haven't i haven't won the championship yet even though we have a 14 point lead to uh raikkonen and raikkonen is one point in front of vettel so there's four laps of fuel remaining if we bottle it both those guys still have a chance my fault why did I why the, why the hell did I go down to third gear that was dumb that corner is done in fourth Hey, Kyle, what's up? Yeah, that's weird because everything is telling me it's fine. Is it better now or what? Are they still lagging? Like Everything looks fine. Like, I, I don't know what to do, honestly, because everything is fine for me. Unless I stop the stream and, like, reboot the modem or something. But my internet speed, it's not dropping. I, I'm looking at it right now on OBS and nothing... Like, I'm not having any drops in internet speed. Yeah, I'm looking at it to see if it, if it drops at any moment, but... Um, what I can do is, I will... I will shut down the stream and reboot my modem. And see if that fixes it. <laughs> 